e fez. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. I have 18 campaigns to share with you this week, so let's get started. Kingdom of Insects, printable or resin cast busts by Karol Rudik Art of Poland, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes four characters, available both as 1 tenth scale busts and as 75mm statues. There's an Ant Queen, a Spider Queen, a Bee Queen, and a Mantis Queen. Physically, you can pick up any of the busts or statues individually, or you can get all four busts or all four statues in resin or STL. This campaign ends on June 22nd, with rewards expected by September. Calciri Printable Snake Folk from Kuomori 3D of Germany, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes nine figures from a cursed race of snake humans. Calciri, based on a short story by the creator. They come equipped for different classes with spears, bows, knives, magic, and more. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on June 30th, with rewards expected in July. Trinity Starship Maps and Resin Cast Miniatures by Ryan Wolf of the United States, their 37th Kickstarter campaign. The Trinity is three ships in one. There's a primary hull and two smaller ships that dock with it. The maps include two double-sided posters with ship layouts for role-playing. You can get the poster and the minis together or separately. This campaign ends on June 16th, with rewards expected the same month. Sci-Fi Mercenaries Printable 28mm Mechanized Mercenaries by Dmitry Rabchuk of Canada their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a full strike force divided into five units. There is infantry, heavy infantry, drones, a hexapod tank, and a commanding officer. You can get one unit, three units, or the full set. This campaign ends on July 1st, with rewards expected the same month. Heroes of Minitown Printable Fantasy Minis by Valoria Miniatures of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set comes with 21 models. There are 7 heroes, fighter, monk, wizard, rogue, ranger, druid, and cleric, as well as grumlins, skellies, an earth elemental, pack beast, and some terrain. You can get just the heroes or the whole set. This campaign ends on July 1st, with rewards expected the same month. Mortimizer's Magnificent Monsters of the Multiverse Resin Cast 28mm Monsters by Happy Owl Games of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes four monsters, a lava turtle, a fetterhorn, an Avatar of Fear, and a Soul Forged Harvester. They're also producing 5th edition stats and content for their creations. You can get any of the models individually, or all of them together. This campaign ends on July 1st, with rewards expected in November. Walhalla 2 Printable Miniature Display Shelves by Ill-Gotten Games of the United States their 25th Kickstarter campaign. This set now includes not only their classic wall-mounted display tiles, but a new wall sprawl, a full vertical dungeon, so your players can actually descend deeper into the madness you've got planned for them. You can get the classic or wall sprawl styles separately, together, or with the stretch goals. You can also get the first set and commercial licenses. This campaign ends on July 1st, with rewards expected in August.
Dwarf Team, Fantasy Football Extravaganza. Printable minis by Generic Miniatures of Spain, their 20th Kickstarter campaign. This campaign is intended to fund the sculpting of a new fantasy football team, the Storm Stompers. Also available are STL files for two previous teams of cheerleaders and elf and human teams. These are all digital, not physical like they have offered in the past. You can get any of the teams individually, just the cheerleaders, just the footballers, or everyone together. You can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on June 16th, with rewards expected the same month. Warborn, Rise of Barbarian. Printable buildings and minis by The Master Forge of Germany, their second Kickstarter campaign. This is two sets. The first is a set of five modular buildings with houses, a meeting hall, a windmill, and a fighting arena. The second is listed as 24, though only 21 models are shown, 6 giants and 15 barbarians. There are also some busts in the add-ons. You can get either set individually or both together. You can also pick up a previous campaign and commercial licenses. This campaign ends on July 1st, with rewards expected the same month. Pillars of Stone 2 Printable tiles and accessories from Zykit of the United States, their fifth Kickstarter campaign. This is divided into four sets of accessories, Mountain, Steam, Punk, Sci-Fi, and Pirates. Each set comes with dice towers, bits bowls, cell phone holders, and other things like that. There's also a Basalt Cavern tile set and a Minimap tile set. You can get any of the accessory sets individually or all together with the tile sets. You can also pick up previous campaigns and commercial licenses. This campaign ends on June 30th with rewards expected in August. Tempest Assault Force Printable or resin cast vehicles by Culverin Models of the United Kingdom, their ninth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes four tanks, one Tempest Assault Vehicle, the Big Mech, and a nice little maintenance facility to fix the artillery damage that thing is sure to accrue. You can get one or three resin cast tanks with PLA treads, or the mech or maintenance facility also in resin. Digitally, you can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on June 27th, with rewards expected in August or December. Cyber Library 2.0 Printable Weapons and Mechs by 3D Fortress of Germany, their 8th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes quite a few heavy mechs and stationary gun emplacements, as well as some scenery for them to fight over. There are 110 image sets on the page, most of which I have not shown here to save time. You can get the whole set, a commercial license, or everything they've ever made. This campaign ends on June 9th, with rewards expected in July. The Cyberpunk Orc, printable bust by Paul Lockhart of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set is just one bust, that of the Cyberpunk Orc. You can get him, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on July 3rd, with rewards expected the same month. Anthropomorphic Animal Bundle Number 1 Printable Animal Folk by Jamie Corte of Sweden, their fourth Kickstarter, and they also have a Patreon campaign where you will be able to get these models as well. The images here are a sample of what he is making, and for this campaign, he's taking suggestions voted on by backers to decide what the rewards will be. One tier, and that's yes please. This campaign ends on June 18th, with rewards expected in August.
Unlimited Terrain Creator, Procedural Tile and Base Generator by Anthony Schilling of the United States, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set is actually a computer program, though it does come with digital assets that it uses and could likely be used independently. The program, though, seems to allow you to kitbash bits with procedurally generated textures for tiles and bases. You can get the program with assets, and you can also pick up a previous campaign of minis and a commercial license. This campaign ends on July 14th, with rewards expected in August. One Hundred Plus Printable European Medieval and Renaissance Weapons by Art of the Smith of Italy, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set will include more than 100 weapons, swords of all sorts, axes, maces, daggers, polearms, and more. These images are all that is shown on the page. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on July 4th, with rewards expected in December. Pay What You Want Printable Sci-Fi Portal by Oikos Design of the United States, their first mini-related Kickstarter. This is two pieces. There's a portal, and there's a dice tower. You can pay what you want for the portal, or both, but with a higher minimum. This campaign ends on July 5th, with rewards expected the same month. March to Hell, World War II, Europe in Flames, printable armies by 3D Breed Miniatures of Spain, their fifth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes two armies, American and German, with soldiers, machine gunners, HQ, vehicles, artillery, and scenery. They can be printed at 15 or 28 mm and there is a long list of stretch goals. Just one tier covering everything. This campaign ends on July 6th, with rewards expected in August. That's all for this week. If you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe, and consider supporting me on Patreon. See you next time, and thanks for watching.